you for that introduction, Paul. By the way, Johnny Fox is just a stage name. My real name is John Fox. And um, <laughs> sword swallowing is very dangerous. Sometimes believed to be a trick. You can see. Uh, it's important that you don't try as children because uh, you could lose your voice. You don't want to think about what it's like to go through the rest of your life without being able to talk. Sit down here. For the first one. And by the way, the humor will stay on the light side for this. It'll make it a little easier to watch. I'll try to keep things sort of tongue-in-cheek. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the mustache. <laughs> oh, disappointed, huh? <laughs> if you don't like it, uh, I guess I could get rid of it. <laughs> Quick impression for you. Uh, Michael Dukakis. <laughs> ah, here. Next one here, a little bit longer. Notice. <laughs> yeah. oh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yes, this is a trick sword. I have this for a reason, though. You might have thought they were all trick swords, unless you knew what a real trick sword looked like. That's why I'm showing you this. The tape measure in the handle. Numbers have been rubbed off of it. That's because when it was yellow and had numbers, it never fooled too many people. Uh, <laughs> these others, though, are not trick swords, as you can see. You can't do that with a tape measure. No telescoping object will do that, or that, or that. That blade is solid, I guarantee it. That's why I don't swallow that one. <laughs> no, no. First, let me show you. The, the length of the blade is 22 inches from the base of the hilt to the point, 22 inches. See how far down that goes? into the stomach three quarters of an inch. And if you look a little closer, you can see there's a little gauge that says empty and full. <laughs> Another thing I'd like to inform you of, I'm not a masochist. I respect my health. I'm in good health. Not possessed with an oral fixation either. And I'm married. <laughs> I have a little baby too. Cute little boy. He's got a little dummy with a little sword on the end of it. <laughs> 22 inches of cold steel now down the hatch. Now, I'm going to perform a technique now known from sword swallowers of the past, known as the drop technique. What happens here is the sword gets set in place, I take the hands away, and when I feel myself to be in a straight line, snap the fingers, and at that moment the sword drops on its own accord straight into the esophagus. Yeah, it's gross, but you'll watch. <laughs> uh, I used to have an iron deficiency. <laughs> no more. <laughs> This next blade, it's called a Chris. Notice the blade, it's a serpentine blade. Starts very small and gets wider and wider. Uh, up where the blade meets the hilt, you see the blade is wider than the handle. There isn't a possible way the blade will fit into the handle, but people will still sometimes say there's a trick to it. If you can't believe it, you can watch the Adam's apple. See, as the sword goes down because of the curves in the blade, you might see the Adam's apple move from side to side, proving it's true. <laughs> Here. Oh, oh, hey. <laughs> Must have had a frog in my throat. <laughs> He's all right. He's all right. <laughs> this time. By the way, this blade is very sharp. I forgot to tell you, this blade is so sharp it'll split a hair in two. Notice. Uh, you might not see that too well. I got one you can see a little better here. Here, come on. Splitting a hair in two. Ha <laughs> 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 hoo hoo! Yeah, split the little bunny right in two. Ah. <laughs> uh. uh. 
the legendary sword sandwich. Yes, not one, not two, not four, not five, but three. <laughs> three swords, three different lengths. Simultaneously, they'll all be swallowed. And while the swords are inside me, I shall take a bow, and I'd like to allow someone from the audience to remove them. Yes, otherwise people will say there's a trick button in the handle, it's microscopic, only he knows where it is. There'll always be septics. Skeptics, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> someone to remove the swords. Let's see. It's somebody with a nice, light, gentle grip. Um, he said he'd be here. Uh, maybe someone in this section over here. Um, this woman right... Would you be so kind as to give me a hand here? What is your name? Mandy. Mandy. Can we have a hand for Mandy? All you have to do is tip your head back, I'll put it in, and everything will be okay. <laughs> I'd like you to stand over here on this side, Mandy. Uh, what happens here, Mandy, is I swallow the swords. Now, while the swords are inside me, I'm going to take a bow this way, and I'll turn towards you, and I'd like you to have your right hand palm up. You see, I'll, I'll place the handles in your hand there. You hold them gently. I will back away. Now, please remember, it's important. Don't reach for the handles. I'll place them in your hand. When they're there, you just hold, and I'll back away. So don't pull, don't push, and none of this either. <laughs> no, you laugh. And if everything goes right, Mandy, I'll give you a nice present. Just watch. <laughs> and now, here it is, the sword sandwich. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> yes! Oh, wow. Nicely done. Thank you very much. Thank you. By the way, Mandy, I have a present for you to help for helping out. A little gift. You accept presents? Of course. Good, good, good. It's a, it's a nice watch. Here. It's a watch. <laughs> it's a brand new one. I just got it. Thank you. You, you can have it. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> if you're tired of looking at that one, Mandy, you can look around. If you see a nice Rolex or a Gucci you like, maybe I could switch them for you. <laughs> Another thing here I'd like to share with you is a little bit with a cigarette. If you watch close, you see that the cigarette goes in the hand and jumps back. It goes here and comes back, uh, not there, not there, right there. <laughs> then right here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> the more painful version of the trick, the eye socket. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, here. How do you do it? <laughs> Excuse me for smoking. I don't want to be a bad influence on the children. Don't smoke, kids. Uh, th these are bad for you. You know that. Uh, I don't smoke only when I do this trick. Do the trick about 20 times a day, but... Uh... <laughs> mm. Watch close. Smoke ring. Can you see it? Watch again. This time, a square. I'm working on it. <laughs> now, here. There. Now, don't take your eyes off the hand. There's no tricks up the sleeves. You're not going to believe this one. It's from Fool's Magicians. Watch it. Smoke ring. Ooh! It's gone. <laughs> I did it last week. A man from the back of the audience screamed out, it's in his other hand. <laughs> now, keep watching. Still burning. It goes right here. Look, uh, I'm all right. Uh, wait. <laughs> I'm all right. A little heartburn, but yeah. Ooh. Wait, right here. 